everybody, there's many ways to set up a tarp. But there's one simple piece of gear that'll make your setup time quick and simple, plus it's very lightweight. With all those gadgets, in this episode, we're gonna pick out that simple gizmo. Right on, brother. From a different mother. Not only to see how it works, but some tips that are gonna blow your mind. Well, that's a little bit over the top, but I think they're pretty cool. Now this cool piece of gear that's gonna make your tarp life a lot simpler is just a piece of plastic called a line lock. This hunk of plastic of goodness weighs only five grams each. They're not only used for guidelines to pull out those side panels, but also for the ridge line, which we're gonna look at first. You first attach the line locks to the D-rings on both ends of the tarp, either by using a half inch, one centimeter strap that you feed through the line lock and sewing in a tight loop. Or an easier way is using a piece of cordage that is eight inches, 20 centimeters in length and small in diameter, like zing it. Feed the end through the bottom of the line lock and tie it in a loop. Make sure you burn the ends to secure that knot. Put half that loop through the D-ring and feed that line lock through that half of loop and pull tight. For the ridge line, you can use either Zing It, which works great, or reflective cord that you see at night. I recommend that you get them in high visibility colors like yellow or orange for the day. Now the diameter of the reflective cordage is 332nd inch, 2 millimeter, and 764th, which is 1.7 millimeter for the Zing It which is almost twice the strength and smaller in diameter. I like the length of the cordage for the ridge line to be right around 12 feet, four meters. 12 feet? Where's the centimeters? Come on, man. You take that cordage and feed it through the bottom of that large loop or hole, then up and over through the small hole. Now on the other end of the cordage of the ridge line, you attach a small carabiner. But hammock gear sells their tarp guideline kit with reflective cordage that is attached to a titanium carabiner type clip that is really slick. Now with your ridge line attached to both ends of the tarp, you just simply wrap the end with a small carabiner around the tree and clip it to the ridge line and pull it snug against the tree. You just do the same to the other end. And to tighten the tarp, you simply pull on the loose end. To loosen, you just lift up the front end of the line lock. And that will release the tension. To center the tarp over the hammock, you just tighten and loosen both ends and move the tarp back and forth to adjust over the hammock. Now this is becoming one of my favorite ridge line, but there's one thing that's very important is to tie a simple slip knot tightly behind the line lock will secure it in the high winds, which more than likely will loosen if you don't. To undo the slip knot, pull the end and it will come undone so easily. Now it's time to stake down the side panels of the tarp. Like the ridge line, I'll have the line locks attached to the tarp with either a one half inch, one centimeter strap that is sewn, or like zing it that is small in diameter, but very strong, and loop it on the D-ring. 
Now attach the cordage through the bottom hole and up and over the small hole on top. Then pull on the loose end to tighten. I'll use a Zinga with my Cuban fiber Dyneema tarp, but with all nylon tarps, instead of Zinga, you'll want to use shock cord. 12 inch, 30 centimeters in length, 3 32nd inch in diameter. Again with the line locks, tie in a loop. Boing, 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 boing. Again, loop it on the D-ring on the side panel of the tarp. This will help take the stress off the tarp in the high winds and snow. Now take a piece of cordage like Zingit or Reflectic. I like to use Reflectic because I don't want to trip on it during the day and night. And you take it and you attach it the same way you did with the ridge line. Now the length for the cordage of the guidelines is six feet, two meters, and you tie a little loop on the end. Put that loop over the stake, pull the loose end to tighten. Voila! To release again, lift up the front of the line lock. Line locks are not only lightweight, but they're also inexpensive. You could get four of them for one American dollar. That's a pretty good deal. With line locks, setting up and taking down your tarp is now quick and simple. So check them out. Well, this ends this episode. If you like this video, please hit that like button down below. It really does help this channel. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below also. And that little bell icon on the side there. And that will notify you when the next episode is coming out. And if you have any questions or comments, please write them down below. I'd love to hear from you. This is the Marine. Thank you for watching. And God bless. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll follow only golden. Golden, golden things. Mountain laurel high fives for miles in spring. Rainbow trout. And